Hello Wineappers, my name is Jesse Meekum from Wineapp. It stands for You Need a Budget. Why? Why do I always say that? Because it is so, so true. I want to talk today about equations because at the end of the day we're just a math company, right? And making sure everything adds up. Specifically, 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5. Three little boxes equal a big box. I didn't want to keep going with shapes. The idea that you'll see often, especially if you read in the personal finance space, like pick up a money magazine or check out a couple personal finance blogs, you'll see them say often the latte. I think there was even a book maybe based around the latte factor. They called it the latte factor. And the idea was that little things add up. I don't particularly like having you focus on tiny little things because usually those little things don't move the needle. What I want to highlight here though is that little things do add up and it's a little worse than you think. 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5, not because I did some trick with compound interest and pretending that instead of supersizing your value mill, you invest the difference. No one ever invests the difference, right? That equaling of 5, that 2 in there is the fact that you don't feel good about the purchase. You don't like the purchase. That's when we start caring about the little things adding up to be big things, and those big things don't represent any of your priorities. That is all that matters. If you love the little thing, the daily ritual that comes with that little thing, you keep doing it, and you forget about all the talk about how those little things add up. You say, yeah, that adds up, those little things add up to my happiness and my joy. Therefore, I will continue doing those little things, and that is completely valid. What you don't want to say is, gosh, those little things add up, therefore you shouldn't do them. No, not at all. It's just that the little things can add up if you aren't happy with them into something big that you don't really like. And that's what we want to get away from. So you don't just save money just to save money. Hey, save more money. Thanks for the endless, like, unreachable goal, right? Be frugal. Be more frugal. Thank you for giving me an unreachable goal. It just uh, can't work. You have to be intentional. We don't want you just to save money. We want you to save money for filling your blank. We don't want you to be frugal. We want you to be frugal so you can save money for fill in your blank. At the end of the day, we just want you being intentional. So if with the stupid latte example, if you are not being intentional, intentional and you're just uh, marketing fodder and you're just this automaton that walks in and spends way too much money on things you don't actually care about, then yes, you're dealing with the latte factor. I hate that. But if you love it and you enjoy every bit of it, and it's just this great thing from you, for you every day, and you wake up and say, I cannot wait to go do that thing. You keep doing that thing, and you forget about how small things add up to big things. For you, those small things add up to the big thing of how much you love it, and you just move along. At the end of the day, we want to increase your conviction and decrease your friction. And I didn't even spend a long time thinking about that. That just rhymed out of the gate. So. Increasing conviction, meaning I love spending my money here, I love doing this thing with my money, will decrease the friction of you just having this kind of uh, low-level uncertainty friction around what your money is doing. As you increase the conviction, which is rule one, priorities, thinking those through, being honest with yourself, as you increase those, your friction, your stress, dissatisfaction, anxiety around what your money will, is doing and how it's kind of got a a mind of its own, that all plummets. And you are golden at that point. You can basically, I mean, let's look at it this way, just to sum up. Someone that spends their money on whatever with conviction, full respect. They're experiencing very little to no friction, and they're loving it. So take that for this week, think it through, go back to your categories, conviction, 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 not the felony kind. And then uh, just assess that. Are you really convinced that's what you want? If you are, awesome. There may be some things that are still giving you some friction. And look at those a little more deeply. I will see you guys next week.